Hey guys, <clears throat> so I was tinkering with this carb the other day and was trying to figure out exactly how this electric choke works because nobody's really ever explained that to me and or really well that I have seen. So normally I would go with a manual choke, but for ease of operation here, we're going to go with this here electric. So, <clears throat> after doing some digging around on the old YouTubes, because, well, what can I say? I don't know everything. Shocker, right? Um, I, I just do what everybody else does, look at YouTube and, and uh, you know, put all that together. So, anyway, after looking at all that, and... Uh, kind of deciding how to go on this i figured maybe i'd put a video out on that and maybe it'll make some ease for other people so anyway forgive the hair i uh rolled out of bed this morning and didn't do nothing with it and it's not hot enough to wear my little sweat rag thing so bam it's what you get so this will be strictly for Carter AFB and Edelbrock style carbs, but the principles kind of go between the two with Hollies as well. And a lot of the Summit stuff is similar to the Holly stuff. So let's start with this. <clears throat> so, what we have here is our electric choke. And this piece here, um, what ends up happening is this warms up, this piece moves around this way, believe it or not, which is this here. And this moving causes, oh yeah, the stuff inside there is a little this is a crusty carburetor it doesn't move but as this moves it either opens or closes the choke what we want it to do is open now it's not immediate as soon as you put voltage to this this is not immediate this is like a time lapse takes forever to get there kind of thing and I guess that is what I did not know so uh, we went ahead and replaced the one on this carb with a brand new one. Problem is, it doesn't have a line in it for lean or fat or anything like that. So, anyway, we, uh, <clears throat> sorry, my kid's talking in the bathroom in the background. Good times, right? So, because we don't have that line, I don't exactly know where our choke deal needs to be. So, that's kind of creating a problem. But, we can figure it out. So, again, in watching videos, you need to have a switched 12 volt, a good ground, and this is... Just one that I robbed off of here. They had it run up to one of these bolts, and I, I'm not about that. So I'm going to shorten this eventually. It's This is just temporary. Forgive me. So anyway, we are rotating this. And as we can see, that flap is moving. So that means we have tension on it. So what the magic trick for setting these is the old elusive if you can find it in the wild number two pencil <sighs> sorry I had to pause the video I know. <laughs> kids were running wild in the bathroom and anyway so number two pencil I did the old D sharpen mod there to get that back behind here so we're putting it back here and that should be about where we need it to be for 
the car to run on choke. And so what we're doing is adjusting that till we get some tension on that spring. Oh, I think we're there. All right. Yep, we put just a hair on that. So I need to snug one or more of those wires, or uh, screws, I mean, just so this thing doesn't rotate anymore. Pulled that off for a reason. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, I'm just snugging this by hand, as you can see. And this is a bit driver. Um, <clears throat> comes in a kit like this. Has a driver for your uh, drill or impact driver or you know whatever you want but it's got a lot of handy little bits including Phillips and they have all the different sized Phillips in here and different styles of them as well as flats and squares and three-sided um, torques safety torques Allen's metric and standard and these uh, other Allen's here uh, 12 point stuff or whatever they call that. Anyway, so we have snugged this up. That is, it's a little tighter than a number two pencil, but that'll work. So what happens is when this gets 12 volt key on power, this will slowly start to open as it warms up. Now, this engine is ice cold. I literally, it's, I don't know, 70 degrees outside right now. First thing this morning, I haven't screwed with it. I tapped into here, which I think had running to the MSD, which eh, maybe not a great idea, but that's how we're gonna run it. This is only temporary because I'm gonna hide this better. This is temporary because I got more ends coming, but I didn't have the ends I needed at the time. So anyway, besides the point. So the second part of setting this, and I have this other carburetor out here because it's easier to show it. this screw right here on this choke plate. Now, this does not have the linkage that goes to here, but this one does. So what I'm showing you is this is a stop screw. Sorry, I'm looking at it myself and not showing you guys again. This screw right here on the bottom of this that one gets adjusted to stop this so this will only close so far now this plate that is attached to it actually locks out your secondaries so when you're in choke and running cold it won't allow your secondaries to open until this gets backed off so as this opens, oh yeah, I hooked that back up, silly me. As this opens, this gets pushed down out of the way and allows your secondaries to open. Sorry, this carb is, whoo, it's corroded. Secondaries to, oh my gosh, yeah, it is not good. Oh, 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 a little bit, no, no, definitely not. These, I think these secondaries are stuck. Anyway, so this screw here gets adjusted on this plate here. So 
that same setup is right here with this plate. But being that this is a little more ancient, that only has two steps on it. And I really can't get a great picture of that, but you can kind of see without my fat finger in the way, there's another step there. So we're going to adjust this to where that is stopped. And goodness, this is just super sticky for some reason. I don't understand why. I think that's where the electric choke wants it set. Okay, so we're going to reach under here with a straight and we're going to run this down, not to where it touches, but just there. And that will keep this from closing too far. And then we're gonna go and cold start it and see if the electric choke works. So let's see if I can do this, maybe with this. Forgive the uh, speedo cable. We're going with a digital dash on this, and it uh, does not use that speedo cable. Oh, hey, check that out. Oh, you can't see a single thing I'm doing, can you? Okay, because my fat arm's in the way. How about getting a little closer? This is incredibly difficult with one hand. Oh, you know what? I bought something a while ago. Whether I can find it or not, because, well, Lord knows my garage is a mess, so maybe I should clean it up. No. No. Why would I do that? Um, what I had bought was a stand that was extremely tall. What all the uh, professional YouTube guys use. And... Um, I can't find it because I can't hardly get to anything in my garage because, well, I was getting a little lazy and tired and every flat surface in my garage became a catch-all. <laughs> so, I need to hurry up because it's becoming a lengthy video very quickly. Um, it's incredibly hard to find things sometimes in my garage anyway so we're gonna try uh, uh, this thing and see if that will hold the phone hold the phone for me and then we can maybe film this for you guys oh that ain't gonna work very well we gotta push it Better. Okay, there's that. Alright, now if I can figure out where to put this, we're gonna be alright. Uh, maybe? Alright, so. Let's see what that looks like. Hey, that looks pretty good. Except I cannot get onto that very well. So we're going to rotate that around and get on this screw here and start putting some threads out. That's actually pretty dang close. So. Okay. 
get my ratchet. And we're going to So I'm just screwing it in till it touches there. And I'm gonna back it out like half a turn. Uh, quarter turn. Just so it's not dragging, but it will stop going in any further. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this. wires in the way okay so we're gonna cycle that and then it's gonna come home and stop right there perfect so that is the second part of setting your electric choke which is I guess another part of that that I did not understand as to how that is supposed to stop that so that being said, we have power, we have ground, these are tight, this is going to just sit out of the way for now, yep, out of the way, uh, everything's plugged in, forgive the mess guys, I know it looks horrible right now, but all this is going to get tucked up into some nice loom and hide and it'll look way better. We just, uh, I gotta finish some wiring. Um, I.E. like this. He went to a digital dash, and so I have to make some other stuff work in there. So, anyway, we're, we're working on it. Trying to be better about putting my things away so I'm not missing anything or losing anything. So. Now, I haven't touched the carburetor or anything other than this, so I don't know really how this is going to run, but I guess we'll find out. Again, digital dash. It's really pretty. I like it. But in the meantime, we're moving that out of the way. We are going to, oh, goodness. <sighs> Hopefully, not set anything on fire with all the electrical hanging out here. Why? What is this key? Why is it fighting? There it goes. Yeah. Give her the old one Z, two Z. Neutralis. All right, well, let me go make sure everything's as it should be. choke decided to close a little bit more I might need to adjust on that just a hair <laughs> problem with putting everything back is then you don't have it when you need it Ain't that such a pain okay These are only hand snubbed, so I'm going to de snug them. Give that a 
little turn. Okay, that one got re-snugged. And we're gonna snug this one. <coughs> okay, not quite a number two pencil gap, but I think this one likes a little more choke. Oh wow, that's a lot of not number two choke. Let's uh, reassess here. Okay, new set her wide open. That's touching. It's got a little spring pressure on it, I can tell. Still got a gap. A little pressure. I really wish this thing had a line on it, but it doesn't, so. That's where we're setting that. This thing needs to get out of the way. And yeah, that's well, that's where it is. Anyway, let's uh go back in here and see if I can't rip my pants some more getting into this thing. Oh yep. No, I heard it. Oh. All right. Let's, uh, this has been sitting for, I don't know, a week or two since I fired it last, so. Three more. Why not? acting like it doesn't have a sparky <laughs> mm. I don't want to say I just cheated but I just kind of cheated <laughs> I want to make sure everything was plugged in and so I don't look like an idiot on YouTube <laughs> Anyway, everything checked out fine. I literally just 30 seconds from when I paused this video last. So you won't notice it, but I'm not going to lie to you guys and tell you that I'm perfect because I'm not. Anyway, <clears throat> came back in here, turned the key, gave her a couple more pumps, and. Uh, she wants to go. So we're real close on that choke. Let me give it a little bit more. Again, this thing's been sitting. I don't know that I got all the fuel at it right now. But where'd my pencil go? Then left it on the other side. Sorry guys, I know this is a really long video already, but again, I'm trying for cold start. Oh yeah, no, it's there. Wonder if I need just a hair more fatness to it. So we're gonna close this up just a little more and see what that does. Now we're just bumping it to see. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm gonna try it right there. That's a little tighter than a number two. And this thing is a little bit cold blooded, but once it gets to gets to idling, it uh usually likes to idle pretty good. So as you can see, it's a little tighter than a number two pencil. <clears throat> Alright, so this thing needed a little bit more fuel to go. So let's 
give this a shot. I think that was it. Now, let's go watch. Nothing burning. Well, a little drip, but 